things uh, looking bad, I gotta say. I don't know how to say it. Things are looking bad for Trump lawyer Michael Cohen, which on The Late Show usually means it's time for Stormy Watch. <laughs> but not today. Not today. Sorry, not today. No, today we have our much less sexy segment, The Cohen <laughs> Corner. <laughs> This time, it's news involving Cohen's business partner and Bono of the Baltic, <laughs> Yevgeny A. Friedman. Friedman and Cohen were partners in a taxi cab business, and Friedman is known around New York City as the Taxi King. And according to the New York Times, Cohen managed cabs for Friedman even after New York City regulators barred Mr. Friedman last year. Take it from me, you've got to do something pretty bad to get barred from a cab in New York City. I'm talking at least two of the top three bodily fluids. <laughs> Friedman's charges stem from accusations that for each fare in his cab kingdom, he personally pocketed a 50 cent surcharge used to pay for mass transit improvements. Wait a second. He took money meant to improve the subway? There's only two possible punishments for that. Either he has to go to jail for life, or he has to ride the subway. <laughs> And, yeah. <coughs> and prosecutors are coming hard at the king, charging him with four counts of criminal tax fraud and one count of grand larceny, each carrying a maximum prison sentence of up to 25 years. That's 125 years in jail. By the time he gets out, the G train might finally have arrived. <laughs> but, G train! And thank you, John. You know, thank you. That was worthy of a celebration. But it looks like Friedman is going to stay a free man because he has agreed to cooperate with the government as a potential witness and has specifically agreed to assist government prosecutors in state or federal investigations. Oh, that's a pretty good deal. You get to stay out of prison, plus you don't have to be friends with Michael Cohen anymore. <laughs> And Michael Cohen doesn't need any more, any more bad news, folks, because he's got more bad news. You see, after the election, Cohen realized that paying off porn stars out of your own pocket is not a great business model. <laughs> Luckily, he did have some incoming cash. The BBC is reporting that Michael Cohen received a secret payment of $400,000 to set up talks between the Ukrainian president and Donald Trump. In this case, Cohen's not Trump's fixer, he's Trump's pimp. And... <laughs> He promises, for 400000 you get oval. <laughs> the BBC... Wow. Think I, did I read that right? Did I read that right? Wow, you got it. Can you go it. back? Did I read that right? Yeah. I did not read that right. All right. All right. Keep, keep going. All right. No, no. <laughs> forward, 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 forward. There. The BBC... The BBC got wind of this payoff from a source in Kiev, and the Ukrainians agree Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko's inner circle was shocked by how dirty this whole arrangement with Cohen was. Oh, come on, Ukraine. <laughs> it takes two to tropo tyanka. <laughs> One assumes that that is a traditional dance of some sort. Don't play all high and mighty. It's like telling your mistress, I can't believe you'd sleep with me, a married man. <laughs> but most disgusting of all, is that this seems to have worked. The meeting between Poroshenko and Trump was held at the White House last June, and shortly after, Ukraine's anti-corruption agency stopped its investigation into Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort. Now, to save Manafort, listen, to save Manafort, all Cohen has to do is arrange a meeting between the Ukrainian president and Robert Mueller. <laughs> 